are going to do an old classic of a chemistry demonstration and it's called the Screaming Jelly Baby, also known as the Growling Gummy Bear. And basically it's a reaction between sugar, uh, potassium chlorate, uh, and it yields carbon dioxide and water. Well, we'll show you the uh, basic one first where we've got a boiling tube or a large test tube uh, and inside this we've got our potassium chlorate. Uh, what we need to do first of all is melt it and this is a process um, that just involves a lot of heat and it fuses or melts the potassium chloride. So it goes from being the, the white powder that you see here um, to a liquid. So uh, let's hand over to Neil. We've got potassium chloride, KClO3. And what's happening is that Neil is heating it at a very, very high temperature and it's becoming KCl, potassium chloride, and it's liberating the oxygen. And once that's all completely melted, we'll introduce the sugar in the form of a jelly baby. Okay, we ready? Yeah. What on earth just happened there? Is that not what was supposed to happen? Nope. We shouldn't have had that fizzing for a start. That's really disappointing. Was that Ooh. a failure? That was a failure. Yeah, I'm, I'm really gutted. Uh, yeah, in a way. Hang on. Why is it still going as well? Oh, wow, that's it. <laughs> Is that part of the reaction? Um, it's the jelly baby, what's left of it. It's, oh gosh, so you can, hang on, if I just tilt it around, you can see it's hollow. It's kind of, it's very odd. It's as if the jelly baby's been eaten um, from the inside out. Um, we, do, we do expect carbon to be produced by the chemical reaction, but this is unexpected. You do expect sometimes for the, uh, the reaction to be so violent that the jelly baby gets ejected from the actual tube. What I've never seen is actually um, the, the, the hollowed out shell of a jelly baby. Um, it's a jelly baby corpse is what it is. I think in the interests of uh, scientific endeavour, we need to do this experiment again with a different coloured jelly baby. So we did red jelly baby, uh, and that's my favourite flavour, but we'll do green this time because I can't stand those. Good, isn't it? It's almost white light that was being produced there as well. So that's more of the reaction we expected. Instantaneous, really violent, very exothermic, and now within seconds it's all over. Marvellous, because I think at this point we need to make a confession, because Neil and I have colluded to try and dupe Brady. Uh, different coloured jelly babies do not in fact give different coloured flames. We've had a bit of a tinker with the potassium chlorate and decided to jazz up the reaction in the only way that periodic videos knows how to. And so we added uh, metal salts to the potassium chlorate. Red was obviously strontium, strontium nitrate, and the green was barium nitrate. And that's why the different jelly babies gave uh, different coloured flames. The best reactions are ones that you can scale up. So if we just take this cooler tube as a comparison, that's the kind of scale of reaction that's done uh, in schools and other places that do demos and this is the period of videos version we're going to not quite barking dog scale but a larger scale nonetheless and we should be able to fit not one not two but four jelly babies a chorus of jelly babies into this one okay for this one we're just going to be extra safe extra cautious so we're going to actually put a blast screen around it and then lower the fume hood as well
That was spot on. We, we usually get requests and, and feedback from our viewers asking for the actual chemical reactions that go on. So to begin with, when we did the fusing where Neil was blowtorching the tube, that's the potassium chloride there becoming potassium chloride and liberating the oxygen in the form of gas. And then the next thing that happened was the oxidation of the sugar. So there's your sugar structure. Uh, and then it's uh, reacting with the oxygen. It's a very exothermic reaction. It generates a lot of heat and it gives you carbon dioxide and water in the form of water vapour or steam. And then this, the heat from the reaction itself actually um, creates uh, carbon in the form of the soot. And you can see there in the tube a lot of carbon is formed there and that's the, the black of uh, the carbon soot. And you also get a lot of water vapour coming off that. Uh, in essence, therefore, what you've got there is sugar plus oxygen giving you carbon dioxide and water.